Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Good morning. <laughs> we, you good morning. Yeah. we both wanted to let everyone know. Yeah. <laughs> but we're talking about rain today. Nice to see it finally. I think it's just because it's so wet outside. We are so thrown off. <laughs> we just, it's not usual, so we're not used Everything's to it. Everything's different now. Exactly. <laughs> it's wet outside. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what to do. Uh, so the question is about rain this morning, and it's specifically about Dubuque. How often does Dubuque experience a day with a quarter inch of rainfall in September? How frequent is that? This is not the wettest month of the year, but it's also not the driest. So how many times do we see that in a season? Is it never? Is it one to two times a year? One, four to five times in a September? Or nine to 10 times? We're short today, close though. 0.23 so far since midnight in Dubuque with rain moving through that area. The wettest at this point is Tama, almost a third of an inch. Cedar Rapids checking in officially at a tenth of an inch at the top of the hour. These totals, especially in this kind of zone here between Iowa City, Cedar Rapids and Tama could increase a bit more as we go through the morning hours. That's because there is some rain out there. It looks like the falling rain is less in the Dubuque area, but streets are still wet to start off the day. 58 degrees in Dubuque, 61 in Washington, 65 in Cedar Rapids, so it is warmer. That was helped by southerly winds and the cloud cover associated with these showers and storms. Now, the most widespread activity has now shifted to the east into Wisconsin and Illinois. Back here in eastern Iowa, some moderate rainfall falling in parts of the area, but notice down toward Dubuque, it's much more scattered. A few light showers still possible there over the next couple of hours. Some of that moderate rainfall moving toward Tama. A little bit of a break headed for Iowa City at times, but there is more rain out there to the west. First alert highlights the potential for additional shower and storm activity as we go through the next 24 hours. Now it will be most widespread this morning. As we go past that, it's possible but it's not going to be quite as much as we saw overnight tonight. Uh, temperatures will uh, be affected by the clouds as well as we go through the day. So we need to see a little bit of clearing to reach our highs as rainfall, again, the heaviest stuff, moves out of the area. Still some lingering activity through about mid-morning, especially in the central zone, maybe even in the southern zone too. But by early afternoon, I think we'll see drier conditions. Now, additional development is still possible later this afternoon and evening, possibly focused just a bit on the southern and eastern flank of the viewing area. But then we'll see things perhaps turn a little bit drier tonight, but still a few isolated showers or storms possible. Just can't rule it out over the next 24 hours. Temperatures today reach from 78 in Fayette to 82 in Iowa City, maybe as warm as 86 in Tama once we get the clouds and storms out of the area. That chance still lingers with us through the day. Southerly breeze that we have out there now will likely stick with us too and perhaps increase a bit as we go through the day. Temperatures will stay in the low 80s thanks to southerly winds and just a generally warmer and slightly more humid air mass too. So you will notice that over the next couple of days that dew points will be up in the 60s at times as we head toward the weekend temperatures turn a little bit cooler but we also see more rain that will be effect of that and also some cooler air that that storm system this weekend brings in so by early next week back toward the upper 40s low 50s lows upper 60s low 70s highs during that time which is something we've perhaps gotten a little more used to over the past week or two Weatherwise question for today, how often does Dubuque experience a day with a quarter inch of rainfall in September? I think I'll go C, four to five, maybe around once a week. I'm gonna say B, one to two. All totally valid answers because it's a very random question just because Dubuque was close to a quarter of an inch of rain this morning. Uh, four to five times is right and we've already seen two and if we get just a couple more hundreds, we'll see three as of today. We may fall just short, we'll have to watch. However, the last few years, uh, especially the late 2010s, 2018, 2019, and 2020, all saw around 10. So it can vary, just depends. And so we'll have to wait and see what the rest of the month brings. Hopefully more than less. Yeah, for sure. I know we could use it. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Corey.